Disclaimer, folks, this video contains minor spoilers for the games I'm gonna be talking about. Of course, you already knew that because it's a video about Easter eggs, and it wouldn't be much of an Easter egg if it was something that everyone already knew whether or not they had played the game. So great, we're on the same page, let's do this. Today in Nerd History. Easter eggs, ladies and germs, games are full of them. Sometimes they're just fun nods to the developers, but other times there's something else. Let's take a look at five creepy Easter eggs that'll keep you up at night. Number five, The Witcher 3's demonic statues. The Witcher 3 is brimming with hideous creatures and ghastly specters, but something even spookier lies just off the beaten path. After completing a mission Belen, you can go back to this scene for an especially disturbing Easter egg. Keep an eye on the statues. In those fleeting seconds that Geralt ran into the building, those statues moved several feet, and if you turn your camera away from them, the statues turn to face you. These are not ordinary angels. They're weeping angels, as in the horrific creatures from Doctor Who. They just touch you when you're not looking and send you back in time. These angels feed on the empty hole your absence has made in a time stream, slurping up the life that you should have lived. Speaking video game terms, weeping angels are like your little brother who overwrites your latest video game save and sets you back five hours. And there's nothing scarier than that. Number four, Batman Arkham Knight has a disturbing secret intro. Batman Arkham City ended with the death of the Joker, and the sequel starts soon after. When you boot up a new game of Arkham Knight, you're treated to the sight of Joker's body being prepared for cremation. And in a clever twist, the game actually awakens waits for you to press a button to start the incinerator. If you start a new game plus after completing the main story, you'd probably expect to see the same intro. But this time, when you press the button to start the incinerator, this happens. Ah! 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 Jesus Christ, it's almost though the Joker was only assumed dead, and the crematorium workers mistakenly burned the Joker alive. He always did insist on getting the last laugh. Number three, Paper Mario's Hidden Murder Scene. The Paper Mario series is one of Nintendo's most charming franchises, which is why it's so weird to wander into a random storage house and see the chalk outline of a dead toad, complete with blood stains. There's no question, this is a crime scene. Somebody stabbed or shot a toad, likely in the head if we're talking about probability by surface area. Though the crime scene was featured in the Japanese edition of the game, when it came to the West, Nintendo broke out the bleach and the chemical spray and had a cleanup team do a full erase on any hint of a homicide in their E-rated video. Number two, Animal Crossing and Harvest Moon don't want you to watch TV late at night. Animal Crossing is a pretty docile slice of life simulator where you customize yourself and your home and your town. I mean, the scariest thing in the game is probably the mole who screams at you every time that you turn off the game without saving. Though, something far more eerie awaits you in the early hours of the morning. Every night at 3.33 a.m., if you turn on the TV to watch it, you'll see that the TV is watching you back. This extraterrestrial message plays for a short time at 3.33 a.m. every night and then suddenly stops. A similar but more foreboding trick can be found in the farming sim Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town. Go to the TV at 4.44 and you won't see aliens, but something potentially worse. It seems like gibberish, but it depends on where you're from. You see, in Japanese, she, the word for four, also doubles as the word for debt. For Americans, it would be like turning on Candy Crush and just getting an error message that says 666 over and over again. In the US version, going up to your TV at 444 will often just crash your game, which is probably a pretty good sign that you should stop playing Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town. And number one, this fan-made Kanye West RPG wants to recruit you into a cult. Kanye Quest 3030 is a game where you play as Yeezy himself after he's sucked into a portal to the future while he's taking out the trash. The game is bizarre enough on its own, but it also hid a dark hidden area for two years before anyone caught on. All you have to do to access the secret area is talk to a specific NPC and type in a specific phrase. You are instantly transported to what seems to be an archival room. Oh, and also you'll turn into a butterfly, of course. According to the shady pastebin that first unearthed this mystery, Kanye Quest 3030 might actually be a recruiting tool for a cult called Ascensionism. The connections all stem from key phrases that you have to enter in the archives, which all showed up in a baffling and now deleted video about Ascensionism. Each time you type in a word to the correct terminal, the screen gets darker and darker and darker. Eventually you stumble across an ending to the archival room, which comes with another disquieting prompt that you must agree to. Over the following two week time period, we will interact with you and your possessions in several ways. Keep an eye out as some of these ways might be subtle, others may not be. So far, nobody has come forth to say that their possessions have been interacted with, but it's still insanely frightening to know that there's some psychopath out there with an above average proficiency in RPG maker who's just waiting to make his move on you. 
you guys know of any other creepy Easter eggs in video games, let me know in the comments below, or you could tweet me at Hopeful Tony, or you could just send me your creepy pasta. The creepier the pasta, the better. Like fettuccine Alfredo. Angel Terror. Ling linguini and uh, uh, eyeballs. Maybe not that one though. Maybe something more clever. Hit me in the comments below. Let me know your pasta puns. I'll see you guys next week.